Trouble getting your Chromecast to connect to your Wi-Fi? Well, we know just what you need to do to get this issue resolved in a jiffy. So, make sure to stick around till the end of this video and check out all the steps that I mentioned to find the perfect solution for you. Often, the main reason for your Chromecast to put up issues with the network is instability with the network itself. As with any other streaming device out there right now, Chromecast 2 demands certain speed and latency requirements for proper operations. And if this prerequisite isn't satisfied, then for sure your Chromecast will have issues connecting to your network. You can check the stability of your network by connecting a different device like your phone to your Wi-Fi and by using a speed testing application like Oogla or by going to speedtest.net. Once the test is complete, check if the results reflect a positive outcome or if the network parameters are unstable. If the speed and latency especially seems to be a bit out of hand, consider power cycling your network router first before calling in your ISP. By power cycling your internet router, you get to refresh the system internals of your router as well as the DHCP aspects of the router which is crucial for bandwidth allocation. So, to power cycle your router, all you need to do is unplug the router from the power source and plug it back in after a minute. Similarly, if the signal strength is the culprit, reduce the proximity between the router and the Chromecast. Also, try disabling other wirelessly transmitting devices like gaming consoles or smart home appliances in the proximity of your Chromecast since they can all induce interference. Finally, you could also opt for a Wi-Fi extender or a mesh network to further enhance the signal. But they do come at a premium. Now, if you're having trouble getting your Chromecast to connect to your Wi-Fi network, you can always opt for a different Wi-Fi band since Chromecasts support dual band connections save for the first generation model. Now, there are multiple ways to go about this. I recommend the easiest way and that's to simply forget your Wi-Fi from your device and then pair the other Wi-Fi band. Just open the settings menu from your Chromecast and then move on to network and internet. Then go to your current Wi-Fi and then tap on forget network from its settings. Then go back and connect to your alternate Wi-Fi band. If you still can't get your Chromecast connected to the internet, try hosting and connecting a temporary connection like your mobile hotspot. If you're still facing issues, your device just might be faulty. If that's the case, then your only option is to get your device checked by a qualified Google professional or get it replaced. However, there is still one more step before completely losing hope. A factory reset should revert all the system settings to their factory defaults and clear out any persistent bugs or errors that might have been the root cause to this issue in the first place. But it does clear out all data from your device. So you will have to set up your device using the Google Home app once again from scratch. With that said, to factory reset your Chromecast, just press and hold the reset button on your device for about 20 seconds upon which the LED blinks yellow for newer generation devices, orange for the second generation Chromecast or red for the first gen devices. The LED will then finally turn white upon which you can release the button. Wait for the device to complete the reset and you're good to go. With that said, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding getting your Chromecast connected to your Wi-Fi network. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Chromecast content like this.